what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a circuit shown consist of two identical capacitors each of capacitance c a coil of inductance l two ideal batteries of electromotive force e and 2e and a switch the switch is open for a long time find maximum current through the coil after the switch is closed okay so let us draw the circuit once again switch inductor another battery so this one is 2e c c let at t equals to 0 the switch is closed let us consider the reference voltage 0 at this point e this one will be e this one will be 2e 2e okay so let us consider i1 current is flowing at any time t and here i2 current is flowing so let the charge stored at any instant of time be q2 here and q1 here so here the current will be i1 plus i2 where i1 is rate of change of q1 i2 is rate of change of q2 so let this one be i so i equals to i1 plus i2 will be rate of change of both q1 and q2 i'm considering this as capital q so it will be like this so there are two loops you can see loop number one and loop number two so from loop number one you can write applying kirchhoff's voltage law e minus q1 divided by c minus l di dt equals zero and from loop 2 you can write 2e minus q2 divided by c minus l di dt equals 0 so if you add both these equations you can get 2l di dt plus 1 by c q1 plus q2 equals 3e or you can modify the equation like this as we know that i is rate of change of capital Q which is also capital Q by C equals 3e so d 2 q dt2 plus q by 2lc minus 3e by 2l equals 0 so dt2 plus 1 by 2lc q minus 3ec equals 0 mm. q minus 3ec plus 1 by 2lc q minus 3c so you can write the general solution for this as a cos omega t but this one is omega square so omega is 1 by root over 2lc at t equals to 0 capital Q is also 0 as q1 and q2 both are, will be 0 so capital Q is equal to 3ec so a will be minus 3ec cos omega times t so I will be that is the current flowing through the inductor at any time t is 3 c omega sin omega t now this one is the maximum current so it will be 3 e c omega so 3 e c omega is 1 by root over 12 c so final answer will be root over c divided by 12 so this one will be your maximum current that will flow through the coil or the inductor so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative thank you